The medium heavyweight final now here at the 2020 Pans in the blue gi. Octavio Souza of Greasy Baja up against in the white. Super exciting Checkmat. matchup. This is Mateus Luna. Yeah, this is a uh, this is an interesting one, isn't it? It's like uh, we didn't necessarily expect to see Otavio Souza competing at Pans in this weight division. No, <laughs> at know, all. It, it, when his name appeared in the list of uh, signups and all especially right. at this higher weight class, but. Uh, Always good to watch this veteran champion compete. I believe that they will, like, that, like they showed right now, double pool, but uh, I think that uh, Otavio is going to accept the pool and uh, score the advantage right away. And then, uh, yeah, Luna, one of the... Uh, oh, got the penalty. Yeah, one of the new stars out of the Checkmat team fighting through into his first Pan Championship black belt final. Otavio Souza is really smart, man. Yeah, incredibly That's smart really competitor. Smart. I mean, he's just got so much experience. He's got 13 years competing as a black belt. And not only that, he's, he's very intelligent. You see yes. that every move that he does is not by chance. He, he calculates everything. He got, he got the pull even quicker than Luna. Very smart indeed. Oh, also, oh great sweep motion oh, there. Bring it, bring oh, him tries to bring him back into the mat, but just about runs out of space. This is a little more fired up. I mean, Otavio in his first two matches, we saw a very calm Otavio. A little bit more energy this time now. But he get, I think I think he gets the energy of his opponent. Yeah. He mimics it. This is like some uh, personal characteristics. Sometimes you get hyped because of your opponent's hyped. So, yeah, that's what uh, Professor Draculino just said is a real chance because uh, Otavio has a great takedown. He goes to the legs. Oh, runs out of bounds. This, uh, this extra muscle on Otavio's frame, the extra weight, he definitely looks more physical. He definitely looks stronger and more physical. Definitely. Still 0 0. One penalty against Mateus for that earlier guard pull. There's the guard oh. pull now from, from Otavio. Oh, no, no, no. Don't, don't ask for these points. Don't ask for these oh, points. Oh, and there he is. It's not even right. Oh, he jumped out. He jumped out. Oh, my God. Are we going to see points that's, for that? That's penalty that's against a lot of Luna. That is a lot of pressure right now. Yeah, for fleeing the area. And you hear Dracolino in the corner of Otavio Souza. I mean, to be honest, there are a few people better to have in your corner, but he's there and he's got the perfect advice for Otavio. He's like, you're no, uh, no pressure on you now. Yeah, man, you can't get any better coaching than Professor Dracolino. The guy has made so much, has done so much for the sport, still does so much for the sport. Maybe he's he's doing more for the sport than ever, right? Wow. There is the sweep. And we will see the guard pass here. He's very much Goes Otavio. one direction, then the other with the Toriander. Luna fighting his heart out to defend. Four points. Yeah, exactly. Professor Dracula is saying he's late. He's one step behind, and Just that's exactly what's step happening. Behind, however, yeah, and not out of the game. Look at this, man. He's so explosive. But look at that, Otavio again a little bit. Ooh, it feels a little disrespected there that uh, the <laughs> the Mateus Luna was trying to run him out of bounds, and even Draculino is kind of saying, okay, hey, head in the game, calm, you know, don't get too fired up because. You're right. If he's mirroring the energy of exactly. his opponent, and his that's opponent what I'm is feeling from angry, him. You don't want to get angry. No. And, and and Luna is good at hyping up the uh, the match, and it's contagious. You know, it's contagious. So the, the you see you see that the check mat uh, 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 crowd is way more hyped than in all the other matches because Luna brings it with him. 
Interesting to note that in the corner of Matthias Luner is his brother, Matthias. Mm -hmm. It's very confusing because they both have the name Jose Luna, and the only difference is their middle name. One is Matthias, one is Matthias. And, and the, hair, I, the haircut's the same too. I honestly, I will challenge anybody to take one quick look at them and tell them apart because they are really identical. The only difference is they fight in different weight categories and one has a small scar on his nose. It's almost impossible to tell the difference. So many twins in jiu-jitsu, right? Yeah. You know, you've got the Mahecha twins, we've got the Meow brothers, you've got uh, Jennifer and Timirez Aquino, the, the two... The, the, the Gomez. Adult, yeah, it is the, yeah, the, the, the Gomez are, are, are twins? No, they're, they're not they're twins. just brothers, yeah. But there are, there are so many, so many twins. There is Matthias Luna in the corner of his brother. That family bond so strong. Nice card, card open. Yeah, Matthias is, uh, he's got around about six minutes to work and he's four points down. That's not impossible to get back. It's not, of course it's not. Like, ha not even halfway still. And Matthias is really aggressive and explosive. So he can accelerate this match at any time that he wants. But Otavio, the, the, the new 2020 Otavio Souza uh, is like is offering, like it's, it's, it's a tougher opponent because he is definitely stronger right now. He bulked up, but I think that everything went to the right place because it's uh, playing in, on, on his advantage. He's not carrying weight. No, we saw it in his earlier match when he was on top. That extra weight just increased his pressure. Otavio wanted that. He wanted to be inside his close guard. Yeah, he get grabbed both lapels and yeah, uh, opened up. As Mateus jumped close guard, he already had those perfect defensive grips, right? Okay, here we go now. Restart in the center with the close guard position. Mateus Luna on bottom. Penalty. Yeah. Yeah, but it's it's not wrong. It's not wrong because the referee said twice, your grip is here, not there. And he goes back to the wrong place. Your grip is here, not there. The third time, you go, okay, penalty. penalty. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. What a way to lose a match. Yeah, yeah, penalties. Yeah, that's tough. But hey, well, he won his way to the finals like that. So. Wow! Look at the pressure that uh, Otavio is putting on from close guard. He's got that the old, the old fashioned Amasa Pau. Right? Yeah, I love it. That's old school. Fist in the throat, driving the collar in. It, you'd think that you could just get on board from that position, but really good guys, they'll make your life a misery in that position. There is no chance a good Massapon will yield or allow or open to a, to an armbar. If, if it ever happened to you, you're not doing it right. Very frustrating, can cause your opponent to open the close guard and that gives you the opportunity to escape. Tavio Souza, that forward posture, and now standing up, just putting so much weight into that fist and into the throat. You can see the discomfort on Luna's face. And he can't go anywhere. He can't go left, he can't go right. If he opens up, then Otavio, that's what Otavio wants. You know, and the funny thing is that uh, Otavio's arm is not as long as Luna's body. Torso, right. It's still he's he's reaching out because he's leaning forward once again, putting the pressure with the legs. He's leaning forward, so he reaches out to the neck, frustrating Luna, as you said. Those grips so strong of Otavio really strong. Souza, really. Luna, 
kind of out of ideas here, it seems. Doesn't want to open his guard, but at the same time, doesn't really have an answer for what Ottavio is doing. Yeah. But uh, if Luna wants something, he needs to open up and start trying because it's he's six behind. Nice, Otavio is really smart. Penalty awarded against uh, Otavio, though, uh, by the video referee. Right. They are under the impression that he is not working hard enough to improve the position right now. But he's really putting on the pressure, and you can even hear Draculino saying, that's right, that's it, right there. And now picks up Luna. Will he put the hand on the inside of the knee and shake off that closed guard and begin the guard pass? He's got around about 145 on the clock to work. And Still Otavio, plenty of time. Yeah, and Otavio is uh, doing it right when, uh, when Luna tries to reach out to his leg. He's just pointing the knee against his ribs, against his hip, and nothing happens. There, there you go. Yep. Mateus Luna, for all his energy and his enthusiasm earlier in this match, seems to have uh, seems to have run out. Seems to have abandoned him at this point in the match. And Otavio Souza, however, oh, there you go. Possibly a, a sweep attempt from, from Luna, but no. Just so solid is Otavio Souza in this position. Feels like he's just punishing Luna at this point, Victor. Yeah, yeah. I agree, and, uh, but Otavio still, is still not done. 45 seconds. Six points ahead, he's gonna accelerate and finish strong. Now the guard is open. Will he go for a last second pass attempt? I mean, we saw it in his earlier match that he, he was going for the kill right until the, the very end. It's a great, great comment from uh, Professor Draculino. He just goes, Otavio, don't stop because you don't know how to play stopped. You don't know how to fight stopped. You have to keep moving. So he knows his kid. Otavio Souza takes the gold medal here. This will be his third Pan Championship fourth. medal. Third at Black Belt? At Black Belt. His first Pan medal was in 2010, his most recent. Wow. Now here, 2020. Incredible career from the Gracie Baja Black Belt. Thirty-four years of age and still out there picking up medals in the biggest tournaments in the world.